Say hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. Tell them what time it is. It is three o'clock in the morning, maybe four. I don't know, but it's I think late. it's two o'clock in the morning. You're ahead of yourself. But I'm ahead of myself, and I'm. And his back is hurt. Look at him. He's in agonizing pain. He's still washing the dishes without soap. The burning, soap. boiling hot water. Let's auction him off. Can you can you do a little dance while you do it? <laughs> and he will also try to get glass out of your foot, but you will probably scream and tell him to stop and leave you alone while he's desperately trying for 30 minutes to get some glass out of your foot. That's why he's washing the dishes, because I can't stand up. I can only sit here with my feet out the window. <laughs> well, you gotta do something for a lovely lady, you know what I'm talking about? She How many loads of laundry did I do in the bathtub? She did about seven. Seven? Uh, eight? No, seven. Let's be honest. I Let's say six, just to be fair. Yeah. I have to fold the last one and then we're done. A six pack. A six pack, yes. True. Okay. All right, say bye, YouTube. And she did a very good job. I did an excellent job. I did. I was a real laundry. A real... Uh, tonight. I, and I also cooked dinner and tell them about the dinner I cooked. Oh, yeah. To man. compete with you. She I cooked a real black person mammy meal. And it smells so good in here, I didn't know what was going on in here. <laughs> Yes, I did. True story. Lentils with collard greens, sausage with no ham with onions, glazed caramelized onions. I thought it was over Sunday. rice. I yeah. thought it was Sunday. True. She cooked so good. I did. Tell them again. I'm the best woman to be to marry. You is the the uh, what they call it. The, the, a unicorn. The, a unicorn. The number one unicorn ever. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce? I want to be Shakira. Shakira. Shakira slash uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yes! You know, she, 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 she's <laughs> so great at what she does. And that's motivate and uh, inspire. Inspire. Whip into shape. Whip into top shape. <laughs> Tip-top shape. Don't, don't <laughs> I don't have to whip him into tip-top shape. Ladies, he's already in tip-top shape. I call him the Black Panther because he's silent. You will look up and he will be posted up in your door bringing you something, a cigarette or a sandwich, silently. You can never hear him coming. You just turn around and there he is with a present. What well, It better not ever be a ring. Don't do it. Why not? Because I've got to deal with my white stalkers first. All right, we'll both deal with them. <laughs> we gotta deal with Dennis. Well, Dennis is gonna be Dennis the Menace. <laughs> he is Dennis the Menace. Don't worry, he can't get out of Dearborn Heights. He can't even get to downtown Detroit, which is 20 minutes away within walking distance. What is it? And he's not answering my calls now, so I'm sure he's really busy trying to figure out how to get revenge. Yeah. Now maybe he can fly his fool ass down here. I'm just gonna, he's gonna try to do some Romeo and Juliet bullshit. I'm just gonna spit on him. I know he's gonna show up in his leather jacket and his red satin shirt. He's gonna be burning up. And he's gonna say, what lights through yonder window breaks? And I'm just gonna drop a brick on his head. Not to worry, it won't make it any worse. It won't make it any worse. He's a genius, but he can't get any dumber. Oh gosh, here he goes. <laughs> we have cleaned this floor so many times today. This is probably the third time what happens when you're saving the world and keeping keeping somebody out of jail one person at a time. I'm gonna get a cigarette from him. There he is. There's the guy. That's A.A. Ron. He said he doesn't want to be on my channel. <laughs> you know what? That's public property. You sit on your front porch. I'm about to go get a cigarette from him. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, he's, why is he up? What is wrong with us? We're all vampires. Is that my blood on the floor? What is that? Barbecue sauce. Ow. I bet you know what I'm gonna ask you. Aaron, can I give you a dollar for a cigarette? I will not make a habit. This will be the last time. No, Marco has already set a boundary with me. I only asked him for one. <laughs> We are, we are living cigarette to cigarette up here. Ow. Ow. I have glass in the bottom. He's been, my roommate's been spending 30 minutes trying to get glass out of the bottom of my foot. Life's intense. Take two. 
you're rich. Are you serious? Then yeah. I can give him one. I will, I will buy you a pack. Things are about to improve infinitely for us today. I hope so. Financially, yeah. And Olivia is going to be impressed. Does she manage this property too, Lob Lolly? No, she, uh, this one is managed by Principal Realty. Mm. Does, oh, so Wesley House doesn't own that one too? No. Okay. Do they, oh, this is the only one on the street that they own? So far as I know, yeah. I actually used to live in this building over in uh, Unit B over here, but. The upstairs? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. they, did the Catholics move out? I don't know. Because there's girls up there now. He said he saw girls coming out and they left all their chairs on the side. I actually prefer the one down below. Have you been in that one? That's way more my style with no. built-in bookcases and it's like a like labyrinth. I've, act I've actually, uh, like my next door neighbors were uh, a couple of friends of mine. Can you believe I've never been in there unless I was so high I don't remember? I think, I think I smoked weed for the first time in there and I don't remember it. I think I was 21 and I got drunk at flashback when I was supposed to be somebody's designated driver. Worst night of my life. She lived, but only because I was praying all night. She said, you're the most responsible person I know. Well, I must have been 20. Oh, God, flashback. Hey, that was 16 and a half years ago, man. I, that is, you know, statute of limitations. Boy, I still apologize to her for it because she had a baby. And I had to drive her out all the way down. I just, I just drove like this, terrified. Luckily, I wasn't in a blackout, but everybody thought I was a pothead in high school. I had never smoked weed in my life. Kind of same, but I like had a... never been around it. I'd never even been to a party. I was a nerd in high school. I didn't know people were partying. Who doesn't know the cheerleaders are partying in high school? I feel you on that because, like, uh, I was definitely not one of the people that got invited to parties whenever I was. I in wouldn't. High school. It's. I wouldn't. It wasn't even like I wanted. I did not know they existed. I was like the Native Americans who did not know that there was other countries. And then they didn't see the boats when they were coming to rape and steal their gold. Yeah, I did yeah. not know. When I was, now she's my sister-in-law. She's Her brother's married to my sister. And I was tutoring her in the ARC when we were both in school. We never got any tutoring done. She was just telling me all the stuff. She was like, this cheerleader did that, this cheerleader did that. She said they were all having sex at their parties. They were all doing drugs. Yes, yes, But they were yes. top 10. And I was like, are you serious? She was like, and they were cheating. Yeah, I was cum laude in high school. I was actually up for most talented, For actually. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, most uh, talented for giving cigarettes to your neighbors? <laughs> no, like, uh, I was most talented for a myriad of reasons. I was in theater. I was in choir. You I was seem, in band. You give off that vibe. I should have been. I majored in English just because it was the easiest thing. I got an academic scholarship, and I was like, and then my professor was like, will you please just add three hours? It was stupid. It was like two classes. It was probably six hours. He said, then you have a double major in Spanish. And I was like, sure, who the fuck cares? But now I think I should have done forestry. And now, because of YouTube and all of my honorary doctorates I give myself, I wanted to stay here and get my master's in physics so that I could go somewhere else and do astrophysics. Well, there is actually, like, uh, some colleges actually allow you to test out of classes by, like, just taking the test with the... I'm not sure. I went up there and I talked to them about it. And I said, this is the problem with me and YouTube and Wikipedia. I skip right over the basics. That's why my friends tell me that I'm just a retarded genius. They're like, well... As if it doesn't interest me, I just don't learn it. Exactly. And because I was a liberal arts major, and I told her, I was like, that's what I want to do here, is do cheaply, do all of my... It would be cool if I could teach English or history, but use whatever they wanted to give me in the science, math and science department, because I didn't take that... You don't have to take that many math and science courses. Yeah. <laughs> I only took the most basic physics, the most basic astronomy, and the most basic, I, honestly, I think that was it. How many hours do you need as, a, as another major? You're your fine arts well, major? honestly, like, uh, I was not a fine arts <sighs> major, although, like, I... Oh, I, like, oh uh, did you graduate? Are you done? No. Oh. Um, so, like, uh, I was actually triple majoring. I was uh, majoring in uh, psychology, Whoa. biology, that... and art. And I, wanted, I wanted to be the guy who drew the diagrams and textbooks. But Let's talk about what kind of psychology, Jungian psychology, or you would, please don't say MBTI. Jung, Jungian is uh, Jungian and um, that's my like, specialty. Uh, Jungian and Freudian. Well, Jung hated uh, Freud. I'm sure you know that. Jungian and Freudian psychologies are actually considered debunked nowadays. Mm -hmm. my, my focus was more in. Um, hold on, just okay, a second. Okay, right. My focus well, you can't. Was, that's like saying Latin is a dead language. Yeah, yeah. Jung, everything yeah. came from. Well, Freud started it. And then Jung carried the tradition, and they had their break. No, Jung was he a, carried it further with the collective unconscious. That's his. We get the terms introvert and extrovert from Jung, them, Jung, from him. Jung, Jungian and uh, Freudian psychology are not to be discounted at all because well, they can't. It's like saying the found. It's like saying the foundation of that. It's like you build on it. 
everything has to progress. Yes. So like, do you uh, know about the Enneagram? That shit's crazy. My personal like uh, field of psychology that I wanted to look into was biopsychology and mm. abnormal psychology. So you know about Dario Nardi out there in California, UCLA, with the brain maps where they study like where they take the students well, and they do the like, kind uh, of the biopsychology was more focused on like the glia the dendritic cells and oh brain, like, okay so actual... dendrites and dendrites like neuro and... like neurobiology yeah neurobiology that was the entire like focus that's of awesome that class. wait you can do that at sfa yeah it's called biopsychology wait it's wait you know doctor oh sorry it's so boring don't take don't it. you have the russian who drinks vodka and shows up in stripper mm -hmm. heels though van clay that's who I want. She came here. She and her husband met at a conference. You've had him, right? The autistic mm -hmm. guy that everybody loves. It's funny because on Rate My Professor, his scores are through the roof. No, I had this incredibly boring, dry dude who taught me about like glial and dendritic cells. You need to take the Van Clays because apparently they're crazy. And if you can get out to their house, you can get in a vodka drinking competition. What I personally Move enjoyed in with was uh, abnormal psychology and um, abnormal psychology and. Uh, do they do paranormal psychology up there? That's what I'm into. No, no, they don't do parapsychology. I'm just kidding. Up. They don't do parapsychology up Is there. Is that a thing? Can you get a degree in that? Ghost, yes. A, go a degree in ghost hunting. No, parapsychology is more focused on psychic phenomena and stuff like oh, that. Oh, well, you know, same thing. I'm just speaking the language of the streets. Kind of, kind of sort of. No, like, uh, they don't do parapsychology. <laughs> Why people okay. hallucinate. I'm serious. I'm well, interested like, in that. Like, um, abnormal psychology was focused on hallucinations as well as manic episodes, yeah. uh, depressive episodes. See, there's bipolar, a lot of bipolar um, and schizophrenia in my family. Hardcore. Yes. And no, I was same. diagnosed with bipolar. Bipolar 1 runs in my family. And... I manage it without meds, but my mother is unmedicated schizophrenic, probably. Yes. But I and but but really, really Catholic. But she, before that, like she was raised Methodist, and then in her twenties, and she never has even smoked weed in her entire life, and she stopped drinking. She was an AA, so there's no drugs. Yes. And she just reads, and she reads about the Orthodox Church, and she reads about every order of monks, and she reads about psychic phenomenon, and she's a Catholic, so she knows about apparitions. She knows everything there is. And last year, on West California Street, where I grew up, she came home from church, and she was, she walked in. She's, she's, I say she's, she manages it very well because she's extremely physically healthy. For her, it always has been. Eats extremely well, no drugs, no cigarettes, no alcohol, right? And she walked in with my brother, and she just had a look on her face. I was watching dishes, and I turned around, and I was like, Mom? And she goes, and she just said, come outside. So she was not freaking out. She's like, I guess the way people feel when they see a ghost, but they're not scared. Mm -hmm. Well, she studied Fatima and the appar every apparition of Mary in the Catholic Church, right? Yeah. She knows it in and out. And I still have that shit. I can't go there because I told the bishop I thought he was possessed by the devil and going to burn in hell. I go there in the middle of the night and sit in the Tower of Angels and think about Lucifer. That's what I do. <laughs> Jesus is not happy, but Marco is. I told Marco, I said, you're not a Satan, you're a Luciferian. Grow up, bro. I said, no Satanist has a Buddha statue. You're a Luciferian. And he just goes, <laughs> he peels out of here every day. And I'm like, Marco, he pretends he doesn't know me. That's why I have to go to the tattoo parlor and talk about no, him. Like uh, me, me and Marco actually have a little bit of history. He and I worked together over at E-Tech for a little bit. It's, you know what? I was watching an ad or something for E-Tech. Everybody, I'm from here, and I guarantee you every person has spent at least a week at E-Tech, but I think I'd be good at it. And if you're good at it, you can rise in the ranks, right? But if you yeah. hate dealing with people, I love dealing with people, and I'm good on the phone. I think I would be really good at it, and their benefits are good. You have to be, all right, so let me, if you want to uh, go do that. I don't know if I'm staying in NAC. I'm moving to Michigan, but. Well, listen, if you do end up working over at E-Tech, let me at least walk you through the process. Yeah, tell me, because that will give me. So onboarding, they will pay you. Sounds uh, like waterboarding. <laughs> onboarding, during training, they will actually pay you full rates and everything like that for about six weeks. Really? To actually, yeah, to train you on there. But Why does it take six weeks? Well, Is that for people who don't know how to use computers or something? Yes, they want to make so sure. So if you already know all that shit, because I guarantee you I know it, everything it, about it's technology. A, it's a yes and no situation. They yeah. want to make sure that your typing skills are up to snuff. Oh, they, they are. Make, they want to make sure that you can type at least 30 I can do 70. Words per I do 70 words per minute because so I was an English major. A zillion only, drunken papers at 3 a.m. The only other requirement to onboard over at eTech is that you have to pass a piss test. Yeah, I don't do any drugs. Yeah. There are no drugs in that apartment. That's why the cops don't come up there. They, I had them search my car in Lufkin. That apartment is so clean. And so people come and go. Yeah, they do drugs. They don't do them there. 
Yeah, but they, they were blazing but every day of their life down here's there. Here's the thing: they will piss test you on the spot That's as fine. soon as you interview. That is so, fine. Cool. They will. Actually, I already will, have one from Memorial. They will actually like unveil the uh, piss test and be like, "Okay, looks like you're clean." Sweet. And, so like uh, it, after that, it's like that's uh, awesome. Twelve to thirteen dollars an hour. They will what? help. You, they, they will also help you with. Um, they will also help you with tuition reimbursement. So if what? you want to finish your education, they will. That's actually, what I saw in that ad. Even yeah. so, a master's degree and everything. Well, like master's degree and everything, but here's the other catch. You have to make a certain sales quota in I order will. to maintain your benefits. I'm really good at customer service. Well, I always that. did retail. I always did retail, and all my professors can tell you, well, sometimes I get pretty angry, but not when I'm at work. You know what I mean? Yes. And so, I can get, I can get, uh, I already uh, have letters of rec because let, I was going to get other jobs. The major sales positions are um, yeah. cl- uh, uh, click to chat. You are typing oh, at the people. That's even better. Yeah. So like, see, you will, it wasn't like that back in the day. So if you end up over in like uh, Verizon, which is the big money earner, you really? will like, uh, you'll be uh, click to chat and really? like, the people will like click in to talk to you. You will handle anywhere between two or three at a time. Wow. Yes. I'm so, good at that. I'm on Facebook. I'm on I am on my U- doing my YouTube stat doing my YouTube channel and watching my stats all day long on Messenger on my email. I do all those things in Skype and Google Chats all day long, so I never get behind on anything. Yes. So I'm in, really good at multitasking. Veri- and so let me tell you about Verizon Click to Chats uh, benefits. Is this, is one you, this is the one that you'll want to be in. Okay. So um, can I say that to them? You can say I would prefer to be in Verizon. I'll do whatever they want me to do. Say, but. say that you would like to be in Verizon. That you heard from someone that you would like to be in Verizon. So, if a person I never ta- knew they did, that makes sense. They so, so they do it for companies. If someone clicks in to talk to you during Verizon, as long as they don't click in to talk to anyone else for the next <gasps> two hours, whatever they purchase is commission for you. Wow! So you'll make two in addition to your. You, so you'll make two dollars for every phone sold. But for every accessory, like uh, one of those fancy Samsung watches, a tablet, a tablet case, wow. anything for like that, you will make 30% commission. Oh my gosh, 30%? So, whenever, so why did you not continue doing it? Uh, I was kicked out. Um, so oh, um, okay. I, I had... Um, so their standards are very strict then? Very. Their so, protocol's super strict. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's I'm good at that. I have OCD for sure. Well, I, I don't like saying that. It's one of those things when people say like, oh, she's schizo just because somebody's on their period, you know, or bipolar. You shouldn't say you have OCD. That's a scary illness, as I'm sure you know. Yes. I do not have the OCD that paralyzes somebody in the bathroom. What I mean is I have extremely high standards for myself, and I'm working on prioritizing what that, what area of my life that should I like apply that. to. I once uh, in abnormal. I got divorced recently because of my... Yes. I'm going to say obsessive compulsiveness is not the same as the disorder. Yes. So, like, uh, there's obsessive compulsive personality disorder oh. where a person is very rigid in how they want to have things kept. Yeah, but I'm not rigid. But obsessive compulsive disorder. What would you disorder, call it? I, was, I think I'm perfectionist. There's, there's a difference. There is. It can so, be escalated. So probably if I did drugs. Actual obsessive compulsive disorder is not what a lot of people think it is. Yeah. What it is is that I've watched um, a lot of YouTube videos. It, it's about less about like uh, they're going to have a meltdown because you didn't sweep the crumbs off the table. It's more no. The each, fact ha- that each person has their own thing based on their personal PTSD, right? So like an obsessive compulsive person, it's less about like you didn't sweep the crumbs off the table. It's more about like I have to buy this yeah. to be the, the cereal to be the third item yeah. I picked up at the grocery store. Oh, I know. The frozen meals. Yeah, to be it's the fifth really item irrational. Up. It's not. I or, like a clean or house. Or else little Johnny will die. Like, exactly. Uh, yeah, you know, so, or I can't step on a cracker, I'll break my mother's back. Yeah, usually goes worse, back to childhood even, abuse. But even more than that. So like, uh, yeah. there was this well, it's one... it's a mental illness. Yeah, so this one obsessive compulsive disorder thing <laughs> that we were proposed to in abnormal psychology is this woman believed that she had constantly left in her hair dryer plugged in. Yeah. And that ever, as she would drive to work, she would waste about an hour oh, to sure. two hours a day of work just driving back to her house to make yeah. sure she didn't leave her hair dryer plugged in. Of course. I've watched YouTube videos and they showed, like, an, it was one mental institution Did in ever- England. And it was like, it was like, they showed, they interviewed the people. They were very, it was a very compassionate place. And it was just heartbreaking because somebody would be like, I, and what's sad is that they'll be apologetic. Yes. Usually people with OCD are like, I'm sorry, I have to do this. And you tell them. You don't have to. And they're like, I, re- I really do have to open this drawer three times. So, yes. And then they're like, so well, like, wait, was that three times or four times? And they're like, start over. One, two, three. And then they have a moment of relief. And then they go sit down. I'm, I know that yes. you know all this, obviously. Like, I just uh, like talking. Let me, let me uh, continue with okay. that uh, little thing. The psychologist actually came up with a solution to her problem for like 
oh, I, I left my hair dryer plugged in. I have to go to back to my house to check to make sure that it's not plugged in and it's going to burn down my house. She said, what would be the solution to this, to us in the class? Can I guess? I feel like, personally speaking, and I prob- it's probably not my idea, I'm sure that I got it from something that I watched. You ask somebody, because in my family, we're all like this. I'm from a big family. We all have, well, I don't have anxiety. They have anxiety, but we all have struggled with depression, you know. And we're all very aware that schizophrenia mm-hmm. runs in our so family. What's your, what's your solution? Is that you imagine the absolute worst case scenario and you accept it. Well, You're yeah. like, my house is insured. There's nobody in it. I don't have any pets. If it burns down, the firefighters will go there and I will live. I'm not there. The solution was a lot more clean than that. Oh, what okay. it was was that we're the, pretty... the psychologist said, take the hair dryer with you to work. Mm. Exactly. That was like, uh, it was such a brilliant and clean solution. What in the world? See? Usually things are like that. It's like the hypotenuse of like when you're, well, I always think, you know, you can walk, you can do your Pythagorean theorem, I mean like, or you can walk like that and it's infinitely shorter. Not mm-hmm. infinitely, but a lot shorter. I love that when people are able to do that, there are a lot of solutions for a lot of problems we have in society where it's like, you're not seeing the cleanest. I like that word, cleanest. So, so Anne-Marie, I have to go inside okay. because I feel a little sick right now. Oh so yeah, I do. I kind of, well, I don't, I need to go fold laundry. It's maybe awesome it's, talking to you. Maybe it's because I got a little bit of wine swirling around my I know, I've been, you know, one of them buying that $3 wine and it's doing the job just fine. Exactly. And yeah, also exactly. I bought Mickey's for the first time. I looked at the Mad Dog and I was like, I'm not there yet. And I went to the left at the gas station. I was like, it's a 40 kind of night. All right, I'll get you. All right, it's nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> I love talking to people. That's why my mom hates me. She would have just called the police on him for no reason. She would have been like, oh, he's outside at 2 a.m. He must be smoking weed. And if he was listening to music, for sure she would have called the police. That's why she's not well loved in her neighborhood. She stopped giving out money for milkshakes. Well, that's probably good. She's a five. She set a boundary, but she went too far.